As winter week starts, Beatrix and Elizabeth have fully recovered. But sadly, Honora is still quite ill and the family worries about her. But in brighter news, it's finally baby Fiora's birthday. She looks exactly like Francesca. Can Isabel come play mama, please? No, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but your cousin, Honora, is still very sick. Wanting someone to play with, Baldwin decides to wake up Francesca from her nap. Stop being a handful and find something to do. Mama's mean. She called me a handful. Well, son. Were you causing problems? No, I just wanted to play with Francesca. Isn't Francesca taking her nap? Yes, but I woke her up to play. Sounds to me like you were causing problems. Now run along and behave yourself. I'm pretty sure that is not what your father told you to do, young man. What am I going to do with you? The next morning starts with a much-needed bath for Fiora, while everyone else starts on their chores. When nap time comes around, Beatrix lets Baldwin in the room and teaches him that babies need a lot of sleep. Well, it's not his pond, but it's water, and it'll have to do until spring week arrives, and he's starting to find things to do that keep him out of trouble. By the end of the day, Honora feels well enough to leave the sick room and resume her chores, giving the animals their dinner. The next day is just business as usual. So far, it's been a very uneventful winter. Can I cook dinner? Why don't you play with your sisters instead? Boys were not taught how to cook or clean because it was seen as the woman's job. Beatrix will teach Francesca and Fiora all the womanly duties of running a household, but Baldwin will never learn. Instead, he will go to school. Because he is a boy, he will have many more opportunities than his sisters, who will simply marry and raise children. Everything is fine until night falls. Honora retreats back to the sick room with a high temperature. Her family is getting extremely worried about her. After all, Elizabeth and Honora's father, Michael, died from an illness not long ago. Honora isn't feeling any better the next morning. And more bad news, Elizabeth is ill again, too. Without them, Dennis and Beatrix struggle to keep track and complete all of the chores while also caring for the children. As the woman of the house, most of this falls on Beatrix. She keeps a smile on her face for her children, even though she is exhausted. Even though they are now in the noble class, a lot of their money come from the animals. They sell milk and wool at the market, as well as chicken eggs. Elizabeth and Honora try to keep their spirits up and stay positive. They sleep most of the day but have a few moments where they move around and talk. The chores take up the entire day and there seems to still be so much left to do and then she still has to feed the family their evening meal. Why is this child always in a bad mood? Is it contagious? Well, at least Fiora is enjoying her dinner. She loves to eat just like Francesca. Speaking of which, finally the day has come to an end and it's time to tuck the children into bed. Good night, children. Sweet dreams. Oh.